Hey everyone, my name is Jesse, aka Chaos Giga. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm sure you've just probably found this video by sh sheer happenstance by searching up uh, Hawk for a third party or one of these other companies I have listed down there um, because you're having something similar to this happen to your account. I wanted to cover this very, very, like, the long ways for, like, myself. But I'm going to start out with a simple way to, like, deal with something like this, uh, especially if you're using somebody else's work or if you're using a, uh, well, your own work, but you haven't copyrighted it. So, like, you have not copyrighted it with the United States Copyright Office officially. So if you haven't done that, um, unfortunately, most likely, your work is probably covered by fair use. And this is for music, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, now... This video is based on, I'm going to use examples from what just happened to me. Uh, I own the music in the background of the song, and obviously, uh, well, it got uh, copyright claimed by not one, but uh, two companies this time. Um, now, I make my own music now because of what happened with Hawk. Uh, Hawk actually worked out pretty well with me, so I'm going to use them as an example in this. But uh, you probably got something like this in your email. And it says, uh, you got a, a high chaos a copyright owner using content ID has claimed some material in, the, in, the, in your video. Now, first off, you, I really hate YouTube's content ID thing because it obviously does not work. And this is living proof of that because my work is copyrighted with the Copyright Office, okay? Uh, I paid the, the, the fee to have my work copyrighted in the office of the United States Copyright Office. All right, so it's in the Library of Congress. It's my work. They can't claim it, but yet they still try to. Uh, that just tells me right there and then that YouTube does not care, and they'll give anybody a content ID and literally uh, allow people to false claim my work. So I have lost all trust with YouTube because of this system. But anyway, let's get back into this. Uh, your video is live and the visibility settings you select and remain applied to it, but it is now either being monetized by the copyright owner or they have chosen to receive analytics about it. This is not a copyright strike. This claim does not affect your account status. I should probably reiterate that copyright strikes are much worse and much harder to get rid of with YouTube. And that's another broken system on YouTube, but I'm not going to cover copyright strikes because I've never had one. Uh, I, know, I know people who have had copyright strikes, uh, such as the quartering. I like to watch the quartering, MXR mods. I like to watch him sometimes. Uh, I've even seen uh, people like uh, A-Drive have their videos like uh, deemed not worthy for kids, which is ridiculous because A-Drive is like a family-oriented guy. I mean, I'd literally sit there. If I had kids, I'd sit there and wa let my kids watch him. I mean, he's that good. So <clears throat> anyway, moving into this. Uh, the video title is Itmon's Revenge Against Data Buster, Digimon Masters Online, copyrighted content. It says the song name that they, they supposedly found in the background and claimed by CD Baby. Uh, it's a middleman, basically, a middleman company uh, that's paid by this person, this artist here, uh, to look for their likeness in your videos. So, like, anything that sounds like their song, a bot will look for it and try to find it and claim it as theirs. Uh, obviously, every single time this happens, do look up the song and listen to it. If it sounds nothing like your stuff, then you're going to do what I'm about to show you. Uh, but if it does, unfortunately, you're going to have to take the music out unless you own it. And um, that's just unfortunate, but it's just the way it works. And YouTube makes that pretty easy to do. You can just go in and edit it. Uh, tell them to take, cut out the music in the background. And it'll just automatically take the music out. You don't have to do anything else, and your video can stay up, and then hopefully they'll just remove their claim because you'll just be like, I removed the music. It's good to go, right? Um, probably won't, but whatever. I mean, I don't know. I I've given up on this system altogether, to be honest. But I'm going to use Hawk as an example because they're one of the easiest ones to actually go through that I've had to deal with. Uh, so literally, this is Hawk's website, and I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below for where to go so you don't have to go exactly where I'm going. Um, it should be... I think it's, there's a contact us somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it's at. <laughs> nope. Uh, maybe it's at the bottom. Ah, contact. Yeah. So we're gonna go to contact on their website. Uh, this this right here is the normal thing, but right here need a claim released or a channel whitelisted. I needed my channel whitelisted, obviously, because they kept trying to claim um, songs that I have copyrighted. Like my intro, my outro. I have nine songs copyrighted on an album in the Copyright Office right now. 
Uh, they tried to officially claim some of my officially copyrighted work, uh, which I paid for the copyright for because I got sick and tired of YouTube's algorithm and stuff. And once I showed the, shared the number with them, they literally dropped the claim like that, and then they they went ahead and whitelisted my channel, which whitelist means they will never make a claim on your channel again because they know that you're actually doing things legitimately, and they don't want to be sued. They're pretty smart about it, but other companies, not so much. So this is where you would go uh, to release a Hawk claim on a video, and you have uh, whitelist a channel from claiming by Hawk. Uh, I obviously chose the whitelist a channel from claiming by Hawk, and then I gave the channel's video URL, uh, my name, last name, the email address, and then the additional message, I gave them all the info that they needed, which was the case ID number and stuff for my copyrighted works, and um, basically that if they didn't drop the claim in so many hours, I was going to file suit with the copyright office, because that is what I can do, and... Um, they actually got back to me in less than 24 hours. I think it was like two hours after I sent them the message. I got an email back from them that said uh, we were they were sorry and um, that they were going to whitelist my channel and have a good day. All right? Business as usual, right? So I didn't have to worry about losing any money on that. Um, and obviously copyright claims are just seriously horrible for small YouTube channels because um, they literally do not care. They, they do not care. They just want to make money for somebody else, okay? So that's that's the worst thing about it. But I got a content or a copyright claim on my music for this song, which this song sounds nothing like my music, my song that I made. Uh, and then I got a copyright claim from um, um, Merlin Symphonic Distribution, uh, Megadose, which they dropped theirs within uh, a day and a half which unfortunately means they're still going to get fined. Uh, so whatever. I mean, I don't care. The government's going after them. I don't have to deal with it. Uh, I literally give them 24 hours, and then I send off uh, a message to the copyright office, and then they'll fine these guys for me. So, I mean, it's no big deal for me. But I'm, I'm going to go after YouTube with this. this. This is where I'm getting into my portion of the thing, all right, because YouTube is not doing anything about this. They're not working with me at all. Uh, so basically what I have done is I reached out to these companies. I'm going to bring up the pictures. Uh, first off, let's bring up uh, this stuff right here. So literally, they're claiming this seg segment of music right here as theirs. That's This is how you know it's a bot program that's looking for this stuff. Okay, so um, obviously a few seconds or maybe even a minute of the song. It's definitely not theirs, by the way, because I, I actually keyed this in on a keyboard and then made a segment. Uh, like a 20, 25 second segment, and then I put them all together and just repeat it. You know, it's like a loop. So I make a loop, and then I just keep it going. And there's lots of people that do that, so I could see where they could accidentally, like, claim something, but this is not an accident. I mean, this is happening, like, all the time now, and it's getting ridiculous, and YouTube's not doing anything about it. All right, so this this was the submit request to, I think it was CD Baby. Um... And basically, I went on to, this is in response to a false copyright claim for your company on behalf of a third party. The song used in my video is, in fact, my own copyrighted work and has been filed for copyright protection under my name and has a case ID with the Electronic Copyright Office. The number is one, and you can go on and read that if you want to. I'm going to show you the actual official copyright, too, so you know what it looks like. It is, in fact, an album of background music I made using my own software, again, copyrighted under my name, and I am officially giving your company 24 hours to release Behold, or I will report you. Um, so basically, this is what I got in response from both. Um, they Nobody was in the office. That's basically all that's saying. It's an automatic response. That was from the Merlin. This is from CD Baby. So I got automatic responses, and then... Um, only one of them actually released, and that was Symphonic. Uh, CD Babies is still on as I speak right now. Uh, and I uh, usually if they leave it on for longer than 36 hours, they're not taking it down, and they'll just let it time out in the 30 days, which means basically I lose all my money uh, from the ads and stuff, which I didn't even list the video. I just went and took the video down and put the other song that's on that same damn album um, and then relisted it. So... Because they, they won't copyright the original song that Hawk apparently whitelisted themselves for my channel for. But they will try to copyright claim all the other songs on that same album. Uh, so I tried to reach out to YouTube. This is the message I gave them. With everything that the Copyright Office gave me, 
because uh, I want to make this a legal matter now with them as well, because uh, quite frankly, I'm just sick and tired of it. Uh, they're not, they're not, they're not going to fix the problem unless they actually admit that they have a problem. So this is where they need to admit they have a problem. Uh, so obviously the copyright office got in touch with me. They gave me all the things I needed right here to share with their legal team. So this is my video, which has been copyrighted claimed uh, by two third party co music companies for my own copyrighted music. I own the copyright to it and this can be found under case ID. Uh, and there's the number again with the United States Copyright Office, USCO. This is an album of nine songs I created, which by official copyright law are all mine. On this album, the song in question resides along with my intro, outro, and many other background songs, again, such as the one in question. I began copywriting my music with USCO after one of the other major third-party companies, You Allow to Make False Claims, Hawk, kept harassing my own musical work as someone else's. I want to make you and Google aware I am more than happy to take the two new third parties, CD Baby and Merlin Symphonic Distribution, to court for false claims. However, this time I will also be pursuing YouTube and Google for allowing this ongoing harassment on work I own the rights to officially. Uh, so with that, I basically got first an automatic response, right? Uh, and then... Um, Thanks for your message. It appears your inquiry is related to a copyright issue. You may wish to contact the copyright team at... Yeah. So that was the response I got. Now, I would put crickets in the background, but I'm afraid that YouTube would come up with some way to copyright claim that. I I'm just saying. That's how much trust I've lost with this company right now. Um, yes, I did respond to them, and they, s they went ahead and, I guess, sent it off to their copyright office. But I literally had to reiterate that I was letting them know that if they don't do something about this, I am legally pursuing them. Because right now, I'm going to show you why. Because obviously, this is not enough to show somebody. Because uh, obviously, I, could, I guess I could like Photoshop that. So here, here is the official copyright website right here. Copyright United States Copyright Office, and that is my case ID. It is closed. So what that means is, for status, I have to, I had to look this up because they didn't exactly explain it too well. Um, if it was discarded, that means they found something in one of the songs that was similar to somebody else's, so they had to discard it. If they didn't find anything similar in any of the songs, then it, the case would become closed, which means that they didn't find any problems, and it is now officially on record with the government. That means I have every single right to sue anyone who tries to claim my work, which includes these companies that are trying to claim my work. Uh, but now I want to make it serious, more serious, and just take it after YouTube because, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of trying to work with them, and they do nothing. They literally do nothing. Um, they just brush it off as if copyright uh, is not their problem to deal with, and it is. It really is because they're allowing this to happen with these content IDs or the copyright ID guys that they give the IDs to. They're using bot programs, okay? Uh, they need to start using real people. <laughs> that, that's what they need to do, and that's not my problem. That's YouTube's problem. Uh, so quite frankly, I've already been in touch with the copyright office. We're going to go probably through the U.S. attorney and just go after YouTube. I told them that they can just do it underneath my name, try to take them to court for whatever I can get out of them, because quite frankly, they don't want to work with me.